Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. As you can clearly see, my hair is not. It's day three, day four. It's one day every day. I don't even remember. So if you want to see how I went from that to this with a simple wash day, the products I use, the techniques I use, please keep watching. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, don't forget to share with your friends and like the video as well. If you want any details of the products I mentioned, they will be in the description box as well as on my blog with where to buy it online, any discount codes that I might have as well. So I'm going to shampoo my hair now with the Vilva Goat Milk Shampoo. This has new packaging. This is the old packaging but the ingredients are mostly the same. I will have the details of the ingredients in my blog post. It is CG friendly, it is pocket friendly, it is extremely moisturizing. Now the thing is it does not lather because it does not have sulfates. So don't expect the psychological feeling of having you know very lathery hair. But this will cleanse your hair because it has a gentle, it has two gentle cleansing ingredients. Uh, it smells strongly of jasmine and that stays even when you use a conditioner or leave-in. If you like the scent that's great but if you're sensitive nose you might need to try it out once. Uh, I would also recommend that you lightly oil your hair if at all before using this uh, shampoo because it will not lift a lot of oil. It has a lot of oils. You can choose to just shampoo the scalp like how I am doing and let the rest rinse out of the hair. But once in a while I tend to shampoo my entire length and then rinse it out. Next, I have rinsed it all out and I am going to detangle with a conditioner. I am going to use two versions of the very equal conditioner. One is the Murumuru conditioner on one side. I can't believe the slip this conditioner has. It is under 500 bucks. It's pocket friendly, it's CG friendly and it's made in India. So I smooth it to the section like this and simply use my fingers to uh, detangle my hair. This ensures that there is less breakage when I use a comb after the step. Next up is the Requil Babasu anti frizz conditioner. Even though there's not a lot of difference between the two conditioner, I find I prefer this one. I have slightly softer hair than the other one, but honestly, it's very the difference is very minute. Both work incredibly well. So again, smooth a generous section to that side, especially because I have not washed my hair for a while. I use my fingers to detangle before I move on to the next step. I take a wide tooth comb so that uh, the knots are gently eased out. Start at the bottom and then move to the top of each section. So next I'm going to use the Curl Keeper Flexi Brush. This is safer and gentler than the Deadman Brush for detangling. You can also skip the white tooth comb and just use this. This is how it looks right now, very thin I know but it's going to fluff up after I style and dry it later. So I've rinsed the conditioner completely out. You can choose to leave some in if you want to move on straight to the gel. I'm going to use the Ashba Botanics leave-in conditioner. This is a CG friendly Indian made uh, leave-in conditioner made by Asha Barak, India's first curly hair blogger and the founder of Indian Curl Pride. So I'm going to smooth a dollop of the product to each section like this. This is called praying hands. Do not be stingy with the amount of leave-in conditioner. You need to experiment with this to see how much your hair needs. So next is the Ashba Botanics Curl Defining Gel. This is what makes the curls clump and stay defined for longer days. This is also CG friendly. It has protein. The leave-in conditioner did not have protein. This has protein. So it's the perfect per moisture protein balance if you want to do with your styling product. So again, I smooth it on to each section like this. Then I take the flexi brush to define my hair. So to get fatter clumps, I comb through a section and as you reach the end, you want to twist it towards yourself. This gives you fatter clumps. 
it's very easy comb through and as you reach the end you twist it towards yourself try it a couple of times with any comb that you have a narrow comb works really well denman also works really well next up to remove the excess product and to help the curls work against gravity you're going to scrunch your hair up like this be careful you do not squeeze it too closely to the scalp but doing this encourages the curls formation and you can follow up with a t-shirt or a microfiber towel to get whatever that is left i'm going to wrap my hair with a t-shirt like this this is called plopping if you do not want to spoil your t-shirts i have another product for you that i'll mention in the description box so after diffusing the hair it's now time to get more volume by scrunching out the crunch you take any light oil that you have and scrunch up again like the manner that i'm showing what this does is it removes the crispy crunchy gel cast that would have formed you fluff out your roots you shake it around to get more volume so that it does not stick to your scalp thank you guys for watching the video i really hope you liked it as ever if you want more details please check out the reviews on my blog bye